Hi, John from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, putting a hitch on your Jeep Compass can take you to some really cool places, uh, camping, bike riding. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Uh, let's get started on this uh, moderately difficult install. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. To start, we need to prep the underbody of the vehicle. We're gonna start by removing these four pushpin fasteners and I'm gonna be using a flathead screwdriver. We're here on the passenger side of the vehicle. We're gonna remove two hex screws using a seven millimeter socket. And we'll repeat that on the driver's side. Next, we're gonna to need to lower the exhaust but before we do that, we're gonna support it using this strap. We've routed it up around the cross member and we're gonna leave a little bit of slack in it so it comes down, but not too far and just gives us a little bit more room to work with. Next, we're gonna lower the exhaust. We're gonna remove two rubber exhaust hangers. The first one is over here on the passenger side and it's right here behind the tailpipe. First, we're gonna lubricate it with some soapy water. Next, we're gonna remove it with our hanger removal tool. And we have one more exhaust hanger to remove on the driver's side. We're gonna use our soapy water and our exhaust hanger tool. We're still over here on the driver's side. There's a carbon canister that needs to be removed. We're gonna remove that by removing two 10 millimeter nuts. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter socket with a five inch extension. With our nuts removed, it's a little difficult to see, but it's still hanging up on the threads of these studs. So we're just gonna wiggle it a little bit to get it off of there. We have two attachment points that are identical on both the passenger and the driver's side of the frame. The hitch attaches to the inside of the frame. It attaches with these bolts that go in from the outside of the frame and through a flat washer like this. We're gonna put these in halfway from the outside so that we can put our hitch up on the inside of the frame. So as I mentioned before, the hitch attaches to the inside of the frame. So once the hitch is in place, we're only gonna put our forwardmost bolt through this hole on both sides at this time. Because it's a tight spot, it helps to have a second pair of hands. With our front two bolts in place, we're gonna secure them loosely with our flange nuts, and we wanna install those with our teeth facing the hitch. With our front two bolts in place, we're able to pivot the hitch upward and mark off the spot as per the instructions of where we need to cut our bumper fascia and we've marked it off with tape. We're gonna, we're gonna make our cut and we're gonna use an air saw. So now that we've made our cut, we're gonna lift the hitch up and we're gonna slide our bolt in the rearmost hole. If it goes in, we've cut enough off of the bumper fascia. Now that we have our hitch up and we know that it fits, we're gonna install our remaining hardware. With all our hardware in place, we're gonna to torque the bolts to the manufacturer's specifications. I'm using a torque wrench with a three-quarter socket and a three-quarter wrench. Now that our hitch is installed and our hardware is torqued to specifications, we're gonna put our muffler back up as well as our carbon canister, and we're gonna reinstall our bumper fascia fasteners. So now that our hitch is installed and we have the vehicle on level ground, let's go over some important measurements. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is six and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 13 inches. These measurements will help determine the correct rise, drop, and length of your hitch accessories. Once again, my name's John. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.